Missouri governor to allow bill blocking minimum wage increase to become law. The fight for $15 just took a major blow from a conservative governor who thinks cities should not be setting their own minimum wage laws outside of state government. Missouri Governor Eric Greitens announced on Friday that he would not veto a bill that prevents local governments in the Show Me State from setting minimum wage levels that are higher than those imposed by the legislature, the St. Louis Post-Dispatch reported. His decision means St. Louis's $10 an hour minimum wage, which has been in place since May, will end on August 28, when new Missouri laws take effect. The city's minimum wage will then be the same as in the rest of the state, $7.70 an hour, according to the Post-Dispatch. The minimum wage in St. Louis was scheduled to increase to $11 in January under the ordinance passed in 2015. Greetings said in a statement that raising the city officials' efforts to impose their own minimum wage, despite what you hear from liberals, it will take money out of people's pockets. The St. Louis politicians who did this claim it will help people. It'll hurt them, the Republican governor said, adding that while an increase in the minimum wage looked good on paper, it wouldn't work in practice. Government imposes an arbitrary wage, and small businesses either have to cut people's hours or let them go, Greetings said, citing a study of the minimum wage hike in Seattle released this week that showed the raise liberals love actually cost workers hours and jobs. They tried this in Seattle. The minimum wage went up, and the results are heartbreaking. The average worker in the city lost $125 a month. That's $1,500 a year because jobs were lost and hours were cut. Liberals say these laws help people. They don't. They hurt them, he said. He couldn't be more right about that. Democrats love to claim that they are fighting for the little guy, but rarely do their efforts benefit anyone but themselves. Democrats might want to complain about Greetings because they refuse to admit that increases in the minimum wage hurt workers and businesses. But even Democrat Mayor Catherine Pugh of Baltimore came to this realization in April when she vetoed a resolution that would increase that city's minimum wage to $15. It's not that hard to understand unless you're a liberal. But liberals are determined not to understand it anyway. Share this story on Facebook and Twitter and let us know if you think this is a good move for St. Louis. What do you think about Greetings not singing this bill? Scroll down to comment below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe 24 Hours channel. Goodbye and see you again.